Let's open up that box and see what you see in there. Okay, it's been a long time since I've opened it. The things he carried 73 years ago. There's my old hat that I had overseas. Bob Shriver joined the Army in February 1943. And here's my pride and joy. That's my brother and my first wife. He carried that picture frame all through the war. He trained in Texas, then Missouri. He grew tired of the training. Yeah, on the bulletin board, every once in a while, there'd be a notice, you know, you could volunteer for this. We volunteered for everything that was up there, from paratroopers to this, that, and the other. And they had one that come up and said, they wanted a 90-day mission, did dangerous mission, uh, but they didn't tell us what it was, where we were going, or anything else. Of course, we signed it anyway. Bob Shriver fought in the China-Burma-India theater of World War II. It was the spring of 1944, almost two years after the fighting in the South Pacific started and just before D-Day in Normandy. You've heard of Merrill's Marauders. Oh, yeah. Well, they were the original outfit. Mr. Shriver fought in one battle with the men who were left from Merrill's Marauders. That's where he received his first Purple Heart. They were fighting Japanese soldiers in what was then Burma and the Battle of Michinaw. Then being real brilliant, I said, I better see what's going on. I raised up to look and bam, he picked me off on the right shoulder. And uh, so that was the first time I was hit. He was in the hospital for two and a half months. I rejoined my outfit. And that's when we started the Mars Task Force. Mr. Shriver wrote this book for his family and his friends. It's his account of the CBI theater, as well as other stories told by the men who fought there. He wrote about the rugged mountainous terrain and how they used mules to help them carry their gear. And about the second time he was hit that knocked him out of the war. He told me he's proud of what he and the rest of his generation did in World War II. It was amazing that all the people that I knew were just anxious to get into it to save the country. And we came a lot closer to losing it than anybody can imagine. He was only in the war for about a year and spent a lot of that time in the hospital. But he says he'll never forget what he saw in 1944 and 1945. Josh Rowe. We couldn't be more proud. As far as I'm concerned, we saved this country. News Channel 9.